From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning. It is Thursday, October 15th. I'm Nicole Nalepe. Here are some of your top headlines this morning. We are following developing news in Hartford, where officials are keeping a close eye on recent violence that has been escalating there. Since Friday, one person has been killed and eight people were hurt in various shootings across the capital city. Mayor Luke Bronin says the coronavirus could be playing a role, but the Hartford Police Union says the rise in crime is connected to officers taking a step back due to the, quote, uncertainty and vagueness of the Police Accountability Act. Now to the latest on the coronavirus in our state. New numbers show our positivity rate has slightly dropped compared to yesterday. More than 8,000 tests were given in the past 24 hours. 164 of them came back positive, so that leaves us with a positivity rate of 2%. Yesterday, it was at 2.5%. But unfortunately, we've learned that four more people have died, and there are 16 more people in the hospital this morning, giving us a total of 188 hospitalizations. New Haven has issued new guidelines for Halloween, saying the city does not recommend door-to-door -door trick or treating, since it's hard to maintain proper social distancing on porches and at front doors. The city is also telling people to not leave bowls of candy out for trick or treaters because it makes contact tracing more difficult. Instead, they're recommending activities like stay-at-home scavenger hunts or a drive-by Halloween parade. I know I'm going to be left with that big bowl of candy that I've already <laughs> bought. It's going to be me eating it all. You know, you can bring it to the station. Uh, okay. You got it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, let's take a look at the forecast for today. We're talking about temperatures that are going to be way above average by about 10 degrees. Uh, we're moving into the mid-70s. Mostly sunny, even warmer than yesterday. And yesterday was pretty delightful. Sun was up at 704, sets at 608. You will see abundant sunshine all day today. Tomorrow, when you wake up with us on Eyewitness News at about 430, there could be some scattered showers. And those scattered showers will stick around through the afternoon. And then the rain gets heavy tomorrow night through Saturday morning. But but uh, it looks like it's wrapping up a little bit earlier than uh, we thought. So by Saturday morning around 8, 9 o'clock, the rain should come to an end and we should start to see some partial sunshine. Saturday afternoon looks great, as does Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, also looking good. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.